All right, guys, tonight we're going to be doing solving problems involving scale drawings. So I'm going to do the odd. Let's begin. Number seven says, on a map, one inch equals five miles. Uh, two cities are eight inches apart on the map. What is the actual distance between the cities? Well, if eight's on the bottom here, that indicates the inches are going to be placed at the bottom. So when it says one inch equals five miles, I know I'm going to put one inch on the bottom. That's equal to five miles on top. Uh, we cross multiply, we see we got 1 times x, which is x, and 5 times 8, which is 40. So this would be 40 miles. Going on to, let's see, you guys got number 8, I'm doing number 9. On a map, 1 inch equals, 1 inch again, equals 7.2 miles. Two houses are 1.5 apart in inches. Once again, since the inches are on the bottom, we'll put 1.5 over here. I'm just going to label this so we know what this is inches. And on top, this is miles. And we're looking for how many miles this is. Well, 1 times x is x. And 7.2 times 1.5, well, let's check that out in our calculator. Uh, 7.2 times 1.5 gives us 10.8. So that means uh, this has got to be equal to 10.8. And since we're talking about miles, it's miles. One on number 11 it says the scale for the drawing of the tennis court is one centimeter equals two meters. One centimeter equals two meters. Okay, and it says what is the area of this tennis court? First of all, we got uh, 10 centimeters down here. so. Uh, the length is going to be 10 centimeters. And we're trying to find how much that actually is. Well, that's 1 times x, and that's x. And 2 times 10, that's going to be 20. So I know the bottom here is 20. Next, it says the width is 5.5. So if we take that same 2 meters over 1 centimeter, this time we put it to x over 5.5. We know that we've got x equals uh, 2 times 5.5 is 11. So now we've got 20 times 11. Uh, let's see, 20 times 11. Uh, 20 and then 20 again. That's going to give us 220. So the area of the credit, uh, excuse me, of the tennis court is 220 square meters. Next, uh, let's see, I'm going to be doing number 13. How many square feet of flooring are needed to cover the entire floor in bedroom one? If I go to bedroom one, I see that bedroom one is pretty small. It's got one, two by one, two, three, as far as these little blocks. And it says uh, one inch equals four feet, and uh, the grid lines are spaced with one inch apart. So every one of these little grid lines is really four feet. So if I put one inch, and I put it to uh, four feet, Uh, let's see, and I see that over here we've got two. Well, I'm looking for x, eight times, or excuse me, four times two is eight, so x is equal to eight. That means the width is eight. Now we're going to uh, one, two, three, so again, four feet are equal to one inch. And that means uh, this is going to be three inches down here since there's three blocks. And that means X is going to equal 12. And now I've got to do uh, the area, which is 12 times 8. Uh, let's see, that's going to be 6. Carry the 1, 96. So this bedroom is 96. Uh, is it in feet? Square feet. Yep, square feet. Okay. I'm off and running to number 15 now to finish off. 
It says a map of a highway has a scale of, uh, let's see, two inches equal 33 miles. Let's get that written down first. Two inches equal 33 miles. And it says the length of the highway on the map is six inches. So we're going with six inches here. Uh, so we're trying to find how the distance. Well, this is going to be 2 times x, which is 2x, has got to equal 33 times 6. Let's see, 33 times 6 is going to give us, well, 3 times 6 is 18. Okay, the 1, that's 18, 19, so that's 198. So it's going to be equal to 198 uh, miles. And now we have to divide 2 away from 2x to find out what x is by itself which means we divide 198 by 2, so x has to equal 99. All right, now it says there are 11 rest stops equally spaced on the highway, including one at each end. You are making a new map with a scale of 1 inch equals 30 miles. How far apart are the rest stops on the new map? Oh, boy. Well, if I make... This rest stop here, and I was to make, uh, let's see, 11 stops. Well, there's one, two right there. Uh, let's see. This would be three. Um, I'll go with uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's count this out again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's, uh, and there was one at each end. So let's see. There's really 10 segments in between all these stops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So we have to divide this 99 by 10 to find out how much, how far apart are the rest stops. So that's going to be, oh boy, uh, let's divide 99 by 10. That's going to give us, uh, well, 9.9. .9. So this is 9.9 uh, .9 miles in between. Now it says I have 1 inch equals 30 miles. So if 1 inch is equal to 30 miles uh, and we're putting 9.9 .9 miles here oh boy 9.9 .9. and we're trying to find out how many inches so this is going to be uh, 30 times x has to be equal to well, 1 times 9.9 .9 is 9.9 .9. Now I've got to divide 30 away, whatever I divide from one side, I divide from the other. And now I have 9.9 .9 divided by 30. And if I take 9.9 .9 and divide it by 30, that gives me 0 0.33, uh, or 3 repeating. And now, uh, let's see, 0.33 equals 0.33, see, let's see. 0.33. Well, uh, if I was going to do this, let's see here, I would have to go ahead and say that I'm really dealing with uh, 3 over 100, um, or 33 over 100. Really, that's about one third, right? Yeah, one third. Uh, three repeating, yeah. So that's equal to one third of an inch, right? I could have put 0.33 inches and probably got the same thing, but one third of an inch as a fraction uh, sounds about right. All right, that's all of them that I've got to do today, and the rest of them's on you. See you in class, and have a great night.